Hello, Times Crossword, let's go. Job with head of Alsace resistance after VE day. No. Flipping obsessive expert, one high in stature, smart Alec. Well, no, it all fits the letter pattern of 423 and also the definition of smart Alec. Yes, and an obsessive is a wonk. Flipping is a reversal indicator. One is I and high in stature is tall. Fish dish containing potassium. This is pike. Pike is a fish and dish is pie containing potassium containing K, the chemical symbol for potassium. That is the Times boss purged. Well, the Times boss is likely to be Ed, short for editor. And that's also a past tense, which purged is. That is. Yeah, that is, I think is SC for skilly set, Latin for that is, as well as id est. The Times boss is our Ed, since this is the Times crossword, and scoured means purged. Job, probably post, with head of Alsace, A perhaps, the, the initial letter. Resistance after VE day. No, not getting that. Barking woof. Exclamation mark, I think. Dog tiring at play. At play could be an anagram indicator. We're looking for 15 letters. Well, I'm not seeing 15 letters. Wine store putting up mature old burgundy principally. This is bodega. A bodega is a wine store. Putting up is a reversal indicator. Mature is aged, old is O, the abbreviation, and burgundy principally is the principal or initial letter of burgundy. Renouncing a Bitcoin ad that's circulating. Well, that circulating is an anagram indicator for a Bitcoin ad. And we're looking for a word meaning renouncing. And I think abdication fits the bill. Yes, it does. The setters visibly embarrassed to admit Papa, behold, was begging. Well, the setters is likely to be I, I am for I am. The setter is visibly embarrassed is red. To admit Papa, Papa is P in the NATO phonetic alphabet. Behold is low, the interjection, and then implored means was begging. Page including verbiage. No. Ready for a fight by obelisks with honours even. This is at Daggers Drawn. So at Daggers Drawn means ready for a fight. By is at, obelisks are daggers. And with honours even means that you're drawing or that you're drawn. Parliament rising to support Ireland's premier epic work of literature. This is Iliad. Parliament is D-A-I-L. I'm not sure how you pronounce that, possibly Doyle. But it's rising, so it's reversed to support Ireland's premier. Well, the premier letter of Ireland is I. So Doyle reversed underneath I gives Iliad, which is an epic work of literature. Page, including verbiage, this is padding. Page is P, the abbreviation. Including is adding, 
and padding is verbiage. Dark edges of intimate clothing. Well, negligee fits. Edges of intimate clothing. Not getting that. Barking, woof, dog tiring at play. Yeah, this is waiting for Godo. Not Godot. So, waiting for Godo is a play. Barking is an anagram indicator for woof, dog, tiring and at. Yep, that is 15 letters. And just scanning it by eye, that appears to be correct. Job. With head of Alsace resistance after VE Day. Well, after VE Day could be post-war. Job is post. With is W, the abbreviation. Head of Alsace resistance are the initial letters of Alsace and resistance A and R. Former leader emerging from career gang. This is Reagan. Ronald Reagan was a former president of America, therefore a former leader. And emerging from is a hidden indicator. So beginning with the R of career, we can read Reagan. San Marino ready for manufacturing salt. So we're looking for 14 letters, and there are 14 letters in San Marino ready. So I think for manufacturing is an anagram indicator, and we're looking for a word meaning salt. Could be a sailor. No, not getting that. Backing singer of swing, Yankee jazz fan, and wild thing. Wow, that's there's a lot going on in that clue. I'll come back to that. Say a reverend bishop popped round to guzzle energy drink. Nope. Sharp expressions of disapproval about... Being stuck in A and E, this is astute. Astute means sharp. Expressions of disapproval are tuts. About is a reversal indicator. Being stuck in A and E, being included in the letters A and E. Always empty eateries on top of table mountain. Well, always could be eternal, but I'm not getting the word play. Robust line in figurative expression. That hurts. Well, that hurts could be ow, but again, I'm not seeing how the word play works. Higher class work performed by tree surgeon. Yeah, this is a cut above. Higher, a cut above means higher class, and a cut above could be a description of work performed by a tree surgeon, because above could be a reference to the top of the tree. Turning tap to conserve key, non-renewable fuel, this is peat. Turning is a reversal indicator for tap to conserve key. Well, E is a musical key, and then peat is a non-renewable fuel. So it's not eternal. A true Damascene conversion holding mass in leisure center. So conversion looks like an anagram indicator for a true Damascene. That's 14 letters. Holding mass, holding M, the abbreviation for mass, that takes us up to 15 letters. And we're looking for a leisure centre. 
No, not getting that. That's a shame. It's always helpful to get the long ones in. Dark. So, I think this is nighty. Not negligee. Dark is night. Edges of intimate are the edge letters of the word intimate. I and E. And a nighty is clothing. Wow, all these vowels. Say a reverend. Bishop popped round to guzzle energy drink. Yes, this is beverage. So say is, for example, e.g. A is A. Reverend is Rev, the abbreviation. Bishop is B, the chess abbreviation. To guzzle energy to include E the abbreviation for energy, and then, yeah, round is the reversal indicator. To guzzle energy gives beverage, which is a drink. Fantastic. So, time to tackle the bottom left. Light rubber and aluminium device extending PC performance. Take command of money lending business, assuming power for years. Yeah, I think this is usurp. So to usurp is to take command of. Money lending business is usury. Assuming power for years, well, P and Y are the abbreviations for power and years. So if Usury has P instead of Y, you get usurp, which is takes command of. Great, U's and P's look like helpful letters. Knife work, unfortunately put Dan in prison. Wow, not getting that. Percussionist, daughter getting increasingly weird. This is drummer. A drummer is a percussionist. Daughter is D, the abbreviation. Getting increasingly weird. Getting rummer. Rum means strange or weird. So increasingly weird would be rummer. So this is the true Damascene anagram with A and M, meaning a leisure centre. No, still not getting that. Now, is M helpful for nine down? And we're looking for an anagram of San Marino ready, which means assault. Assault could be any sailor. Not getting that. Riverbank creature having earth in... Buddhist temple. I think this is water rat. So, how does this work? A water rat is a riverbank creature. And a Buddhist temple is a wat, W-A-T, and it could be either of the A's. Ah, oh, type it. Ah, oh, that makes a lot more sense. And earth is terra, Latin for earth. So terra in watt gives water rat. Phew. Gosh, vowels, not helpful letters. Backing singer of swing. I think this backing is a reversal indicator. Singer of swing. Yankee. Jazz fan. I, I'm thinking this is Alley Cat. But why? Yankee is why. Jazz fan is cat. And an Alley Cat is a wild thing. So what we're left with is A double A A double L E. And the singer of swing is Ella, as in Ella Fitzgerald. Backing reversed. Great. Does Y help? San Marino ready. Yes, it does help. This is ordinary semen, which is 
a rank of sailor. Yeah, I'm not checking every letter, but by I, that looks about right. So, where next? Light rubber and aluminium device extending PC performance. Aluminium is going to be AL, I think, the chemical symbol. Light rubber. No. Knife work. Unfortunately put Dan. Well, unfortunately looks like an anagram indicator for put Dan. And I'm wondering if and is the middle word. Unfortunately put Dan. We're just missing a U. Let's imagine it's here. It could be after the T. In prison. And we're looking for knife work. I, I'm not thinking that cup works, so let me get rid of the U here and put it here. Well, that's still not working, and and may be wrong, but I'm going to leave that in. Second in command, collecting junk. Still, this is static. So second in command is S-I-C, collecting junk, collecting tat, and then static means still. Okay, so knife work. I think this is a reference to nip and tuck, an allusion to plastic surgery. So knife work is the definition. Unfortunately put Dan, that gives panned to, in prison, in Nick. Now, light rubber, Aladdin rubbed a light to get the genie. So, Aladdin is the light rubber. Aluminium is Al. Device extending PC performance, an add-in. Okay, I'm not familiar with that, but I'm confident with the answer. Yes, leisure centre must be amusement something. Amusement arcade. Does that fit a true Damascene? Again, by eye, I think it does. Let me do my typo check just before the end, as I always do. Fortunately, I did notice one earlier. All the acrosses look good. Is it seaman or seamen for nine down? Just singular salt. Yeah, everything looks good. So, two clues to go. 18 minutes down. Robust line in figurative expression. That hurts. Robust. Oh, well, a robust line would be a tow rope. That needs to be robust if it's going to tow something heavy. In figurative expression, a trope is a figurative expression. So in figurative expression, that hurts, which is ow. Fantastic. So last clue, it ends mountain. So I'm thinking Everest. Always is ever. Empty eateries is the word eateries without its inside letters, leaving just E and S. On top of table, the top letter of table is T, and that gives Everest, which is a mountain. So there we go. Every clue solved, every clue explained, no empty squares. Submit, submit, hope and pray, no errors. Fantastic. Wow, what a super puzzle. Absolutely delightful stuff and a tremendous range of vocabulary and general knowledge. So super fun from a snitch perspective. I would say that's probably in the 60s or 70s. Now, I solve the, the Times cryptic each day without aids, but I also solve the listener crossword and I do use aids. And whether or not you use aids is really down to you. You're not really competing against other people for most of the time, apart from the national championships. 
So whatever gives you the most pleasure is fine. And I thought I'd briefly run through the aids that, that I use in case you're interested in what aids people do use. So three paper aids and three computer aids. The paper aids, firstly, the Chambers Dictionary. A lot of cryptic crosswords use Chambers as their source dictionary. So if you're going to get a single dictionary to use as a reference, it's helpful to have the Chambers one because it will contain words which appear in crosswords, which don't appear in other other dictionaries. So I would recommend getting the Chambers Dictionary. Secondly, Bradford's, I think it's called Crossword Dictionary, but it's generally known as Bradford's. And it's a list of synonyms and abbreviations associated with head words. And that can be useful for finding the, the answer of a crossword, but also a synonym or an abbreviation for a component part. And the third book I used, and I'm forgetting the name, but it's Chambers, I think, Complete Crossword Companion. And it's the same format as Bradford's in that it's got head words probably followed by suggested abbreviations and synonyms. But these are arranged in alphabetical order. So if you know you're looking for a four letter dog, you could look up dog and then all the four letter dogs would be together. Whereas in Bradford's, it's just a pure alphabetical list. Sometimes you know the length of the word you're looking for and sometimes you don't. So each of those is preferable for different purposes. And they've also got a different set of words. So there may be dogs in one which aren't in the other. So those are the paper aids I use. In terms of the computer aids, I use T, which is short for the electronic alveary. And you can put in letter patterns and anagram letters and various other ways of finding words with patterns. And it will suggest candidate answers. And it's just incredibly useful. And the other, one other electronic aid I use is WordWeb Pro. And what I use that for is that it contains the Chambers Dictionary in a format which enables you to look for words contained within the definition. I think if you download the Chambers Dictionary app or copy the Chambers Dictionary, it doesn't have a search function for words contained within the definitions. You can just search for head words. So that's why I got WordWeb Pro, which does allow you to search Chambers Dictionary for words contained within the definition. So do correct me if any of that is no longer accurate, but it certainly was the case when I acquired it. And WordWeb Pro has got a ton of other features, none of which I, I currently use. And the final electronic resource I use is Google. Sometimes you're looking for a composer or a philosopher, and it's really helpful just to type in list of famous composers and see what Google presents. So anyway, those are the main aids I use. And in fact, I think it's all of the aids that I use. So if you use any aids other than those, do let me know in the comments below and it would be helpful to other people who are interested in taking up crosswords. And also the use of aids is, is helpful if you're stepping up to a higher level of crossword. Anyway, back to this puzzle. I hope you enjoyed watching this solve. Like, comment and subscribe and I will see you next time.